Before we get into the video, people, I am giving away 11,500 Apex coins every single month. To be in with a chance of winning them, make sure you are subbed to this channel and have that bell notification button ticked. Drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. More details on the giveaway are in the video description. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel, and I do appreciate you being here. Today, I am back with another Apex Legends video, and today we're going to go through the recent patch notes for the update that you would have received not long ago, the 1.1.1 patch. And there are some absolutely amazing changes that have dropped with this patch, people. So let's get into their post, while well, Apex's post on Reddit, which states all of what you want to know. Before we get into the notes, we know there are some ongoing issues that have been frustrating you folks that didn't make it into this patch. We are actively working on many improvements and we are aware of the reports around audio issues, slow more servers, hit registration and more. I'll provide more info when I can, but know that we hear you folks and are working hard to address this stuff. For 1.1.1, we're introducing some balance adjustments for legends and weapons. Check out designer notes and info down below. Okay, so they're going to talk about legend balancing. At the start of season one, we previously talked about how our beloved thick boys, Pathfinder, Gibraltar, and Caustic, were getting crushed due to their hitbox sizes compared to other legends. We first wanted to try adjusting hitboxes to better fit the model. For Pathfinder, this change worked very well. Note, separately, we are actively investigating and working on fixing unrelated hit registration issues, sometimes affecting all characters. However, after looking at all the data and player feedback, Gibraltar and Caustic only improved slightly with hitbox adjustments. We don't believe that hitbox and character kit tuning is sufficient to bring Gibraltar and Caustic in line with their similar competitors. Starting with the patch 1.1.1, Gibraltar and Caustic will get a new perk added to their passive, Fortified, which reduces damage taken by 10%. Over the week or two following this change, we will be watching how they perform with this additional protection and aggressively tune it if they are still underpowered relative to their size. Our goal is to ensure both legends are viable picks by the end of this process. Additionally, we are making a few quality of life kit adjustments to ensure their marquee abilities are a more impactful part of their individual playstyles. Wow, massive changes. But to be honest, I think they're really needed. They're going to talk about Caustic. 42 passive perk added, reduces damage taken by 10%. Gas damage per tick increased by 1 to 4. Ultimate throw distance increased 28 meters to 33 meters. Gibraltar, 45 passive perk added, reduces damage taken by 10%. Gun shield health increased from 50 to 75. Nice. They're going to talk about weapon balancing. On the weapon side of the equation, we've made a number of changes to try and improve the power of long range gameplay. We're reducing leg shot damage reductions on sniper category weapons, so you're not punished for landing inaccurate shots at long distances. Given the semi auto and low damage nature of our current sniper suit, coupled with the general speed and evasiveness of many legend kits, it already takes several challenging shots to down someone at range. Because of this uh, difficult sniper environment, we're also also reducing general sniper weapon sway and hitting the DMR with a few targeted buffs to make it more viable to engage legends at range. Separately from the sniper category, we are nerfing the Spitfire a bit, but our goal is to still keep it strong as it's a rarer spawning weapon. The wingman is receiving a few magazine sized nerfs, so that doesn't dominate the stock gun versus stock gun battle early on due to its high damage per bullet. And lastly, the Havoc is getting some general ammo and charge beam buffs to bring it in line as a viable energy ammo AR that competes with the R301 carbine and the flatline and hemlock. The end goal is that the Havoc pressures a player's ability to find energy ammo, but it is less dependent on finding attachments, whereas the R301 and the Flatline Hemlock have less ammo pressure, but a higher reliance on finding more attachments to achieve power. The G7 Scout, the Triple Take and the Longbow DMR lowered leg shot damage reduction 25% down to 10%, reduced base weapon sway by 33% and reduced base sway speed by 25%. The Longbow DMR increased fire rate from 1.2 to 1.6, increased magazine size, base mag increased from 5 to 6 rounds, 
Common Maggot Extender increased from 6 to 8 rounds, Rare Maggot Extender increases from 8 to 10 rounds, and the Epic Maggot Extender increases it from 10 to 12 rounds. Now the Longbow DMR is my favourite weapon in the game, I absolutely love to snipe and I'm so glad they are getting buffs, because I, they, they seriously need them, they really do. Moving on to the Havoc, increased base magazine size from 25 to 32 rounds. That is something the Havoc definitely needs for sure. The Charge Beam, reduced cost per shot from 5 to 4. Increased close range damage from 55 to 60, increased damage at range from 45 to 50. Close range damage fall off increased from 35 meters to 75 meters. Range damage fall off increased from 75 meters to 125 meters. Wow. Moving on to the Wingman, reduced magazine size, base mag reduced from 6 rounds to 4, wow! Common mag extender reduced from 8 to 6, rare mag extender reduced from 9 to 8, and epic mag reduced from 12 to 10 rounds. To be honest, I think it's fair, the Wingman is a beast of a weapon, bordering on OP if you ask me. I think these, these changes are definitely needed. Moving on to the Spitfire, reduced base damage from 20 to 18. Magazine extender attachments reduced, common mag extender reduced from 45 bullets to 40, rare mag extender reduced from 55 to 45, and the epic mag extender reduced from 60 to 55. Not major changes there, the Spitfire is still going to be a top contender in my opinion, the weapon's just an absolute animal, and I don't really see changes that bad right here. Adjustments to Gold Weapon Attachments The Gold Havoc now has Turbo Charger and now has a 1x to 2x variable hollow sight. Nice. The Gold R301 Carbine now has a 1x or 2x variable hollow sight. Nice. And the Gold Wingman now has Digital Threat, which is a thing many, many people wanted. So that's pretty cool too. Moving on to what they speak about the Battle Pass XP bonus event, nice. In honour of Thick Boy buffs, we're going to be running a bonus Battle Pass XP event. From approximately 10am PST from the 16th of April through to 10am PST on the 18th of April, which has already started by the way people, if you're watching this video right now, your first top 5 of the day, your squad places 5th or better in a match, will grant you one full bonus battle pass a level, at 29,500 battle pass points, up to a max of a level 110, you can earn this once per day. We'll be finding other moments during this season to add Battle Pass XP bonuses, so stay tuned. So that's pretty cool people, I mean if you are already a 110 though, I don't know what good that's going to do to you, I definitely am nowhere near that. I haven't played this Battle Pass as much as I'd like, so that, that for me is pretty cool. And additional changes they speak of. Jump ship speed. Increase the speed of the ship by about 50%. We felt that the ship was moving a bit too slow after watching player behaviour, so we're speeding up so players that like to drop later in the flight path don't have to wait so long. And bug fixes. Fixed UI bug where the wrong percentage would be displayed for all boost badges. And that is the end of the patch notes people, the 1.1.1 patch, which you should have installed already. If not, you will be installing or you will have it to install when you next log on. But some major changes there people, some buffs to my favorite weapon, the longbow DMR sniper, some nerfs to the wingman, to the spitfire, and some great changes to the gold weapons, which I think is pretty cool. But yeah guys, just a quick video updating you guys on the latest surrounding Apex Legends. There hasn't been much to cover as of late, but anything new that does drop people, as you guys know, I will have you covered right here on my channel. But tell me what you think about the changes down below in that comment section. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, it really does help out. If you're new around here and this is what you want to see more of, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.